Hey guys, it's Sensibility here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Amber Marie, and today we are doing a DIY. It was asked by my subscribers to do this, and I was just like, you know what? I got a new jar. Let's go ahead and do it. We are making Bahor, but it's a different style. The previous video I showed you, I showed you how to make it in a loose form and create balls with it. This time, we are making a wood chip version. This one will probably not burn very well on the uh, electric burner or the small little tea light burner. This type of bahor will do better on the charcoal or the coconut coal. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna talk about some of the ingredients that I'm going to be using. I do have the base already boiling, so I will show you guys that in just a second. So for today's video, these are the four fragrances that I'm going to be using. So I quite enjoy Jahara. It's a musky, florally type scent. It's very, very beautiful and feminine. So I will be using that. Um, I will be using this one from Swiss Arabian as my amber base. This one will have a little bit of a bahur, or should I say a oud base. And then this one is another pretty feminine one, so I don't want it to smell too much like Shahara, but I want that essence of Shahara in there. And it's only because I already have bahur in this, so I'm trying to create a new scent. So this should mix with this, kind of give it more of a slight twist. And then I will be using vanilla bean powder right here to give it some vanilla scent. This is the type of sandalwood that I will be using. This big old bag here, I got it from Manny. I think it was like $15. I picked up two. And then if we go over here, you will see I already have three cups of sandalwood chips. I really like Himani's chips because they're small, easy to work with. Then we have here the, the perfume bar I used in my previous video. This is the amber musk to give it more of an amber musky scent. And then we have some a ground up resin here. This is just a mixture. I'm trying to get rid of my resins. So those are just resinous notes that the Bahor will have. Um, I have my sugar and then I have my powdered sugar, which I'm going to use towards the end to kind of help not make it sticky. So here it is, guys. It's starting to make a caramelized concoction here. I had to turn it up a little bit higher on my stove because this is a, an induction stove. So I have mine set to eight right now. So what I've already put in there is two cups of sugar two cups of water. It filled the entire pan and slowly you're going to let it cook down until it becomes caramelized. Once it becomes all caramelized and ooey gooey looking kind of like caramel syrup, that is when we're going to add the wood chips. So here we go. We have the caramel mixture going. I got to be quick with this. But the way you test it is you drop some on your countertop and voila it's hard so it's ready to go let's go ahead and throw our three cups of sandalwood in here like i said i'm going to try and do this one-handed this is where you got to work kind of quick at you just kind of mix the sandalwood in there like i'm doing here until it's completely coated okay now i'm going to in my resins because they will benefit from the heat and I need them to kind of melt down so at this point I have my heat down to medium and I'm gonna keep on cooking it okay let's go ahead and add this is that perfume amber musk bar that you can get from Manny. We're going to mix that in the best we can. Coat it all over. Okay. 
Next thing I'm going to add after this is some of the vanilla bean. Right here. This is vanilla bean powder. And I'm just going to add a little bit to it. That's it. Don't need to go ham on it, guys. Okay, guys, so I've gotten, for the most part, gotten all the sugar up, so I'm going to turn it off. And we're going to start adding in the perfume oil. So I'm just kind of stirring it, helping it kind of cool off. I'm just stirring it around, making sure I got every piece coated in the sugar mixture. Now, how do you determine how much perfume oil? Well, this is the fun part. You just do it based off the one that you want to be the dominant one. So I want the Jahara to be the dominant one. And yes, you use quite a bit. I'm going to stir that one in. You can see it down at the bottom. We're going to just turn it down a little. My next set, which is mm -hmm. amber. And this is going to give it an ambery scent. The next one I'm adding is the Molokite uh, Eris, maybe? This one has like a little bit of an oud scent to it, but not much. And then the next one is the contrasting flora, which is Atara before to Jahara. So this is all I'm adding. I added quite a bit, guys, of that one. Okay, let's toss some powdered sugar in here to kind of help them not stick together. Sorry about the mess on the stove here. There we go. Make sure it starts separating. You can, in fact, afterwards, too, if you want, give it that powder look, but I'm not trying to go for that. Which requires you taking it off the heat and dusting it. This thing's got enough sugar in it to last a lifetime. I think I've soaked up my uh, perfume oil, too. And that's how you do it, guys. You just keep mixing it and mixing it until... It's in more usable pieces, not so clumpy. So this is what I ended up with. Nice little texture right here of breakable pieces. So it's more easier to use. This before should last, woo, quite some time. For me, a good year or two, because this is a lot of before right here, and you only need just a little bit. There you go, guys. That is how you make it. I'm going to go ahead and check and make sure it's not super hot. But I'm going to go ahead and start putting it into my jar. And let it cool in. Ooh, hopefully I don't break it in the process. Okay, guys. I will get the rest out of it. Out of it but let me show you if you wanted to put the powder on there what you would do. You just add a little bit of powder in here. Lid. And then you 
baffler should start having the white powdery smell or the white powdery effect to it. Hey guys, so it's the evening time now and I'm getting out my bahor. You may actually see the smoke coming because I am testing it out to see how it smells. Uh, when I smell it out of the jar, it smells very floral. But the thing is, when you start to burn it is when you start getting the gourmand note to it, which is the sugar slash caramel. So it smells really, really pretty. It smells like a gourmandy floral type fragrance. So if you think that you've messed up on your bahor, don't worry about it because that sugar caramel note really helps if you feel like your notes are off and you didn't concoct it right as far as your mixture goes. So here's my... I got quite a bit actually. Um, I did pick this jar up from Hobby Lobby. Let me go ahead and pop this off so you can see what it looks like. It has a little bit of a perfume oil residue on it, but it's not much. It's not like dripping like the balls do of the Bahor. So that's essentially what it looked like. It's in little bitty pieces. Easy to put it on the burner and do it. That's how you want to do it. You don't want it sticking in big clumps. So yeah, for the most part, it smells like a gourmandish floral. It's really pretty and it's going to be perfect for the fall time. Here's the follow up guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this bakor and hopefully it will motivate you to try and make some. Just be careful guys because like I said, I did burn myself a piece of it did get me right there's a little blister so try not to get the wood chips on your skin try to keep it in the pan and then of course guys use a smaller skillet don't do like I did and work with a big one like that because it just makes it really hard to stir it so there you go if you have any questions or comments you know what to do put them in the comment section down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can bye guys